Good afternoon and welcome. I'm going to begin today with number 63, Ready the Way, number 63. Send the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. We gather today. In the gospel we hear we need to make straight the way of the Lord. Uh, that's within us. We need to change things so the Lord can come to us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. Now my thoughts, my words, what I've done, what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us an admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice, and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. 
The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, whatever was written previously was written for our instruction, that by endurance and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to think in harmony with one another in keeping with Christ Jesus, that with one accord 
you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another then, as Christ welcomed you for the glory of God. For I say that Christ became a minister of the circumcised to show God's truthfulness, to confirm the promises of the patriarchs, but so that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, therefore, I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. appeared preaching in the desert of Judea and saying repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand it was of him that the prophet Isaiah had spoken when he said a voice of one crying in the desert prepare the way of the Lord make straight his paths John wore clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist his food was locust and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem and all Judea were going out to the region or across the Jordan, were going out to him, and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River, as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to baptism, he said to them, you brood of vipers, who warned you? You, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce good fruits as evidence of your repentance. Do not presume to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God has raised up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now the ax lays at the root of the tree. Therefore, every good tree, every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I'm baptizing you with water for repentance. But the one who's coming after me is mightier than I. I'm not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear the threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn. For the chaff he will burn with the unquenchable fire. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon. The great painter, Leonardo da Vinci, was commissioned to do a fresco on a wall in a church in Italy. And in the process of doing it, it took three years to do that. And it was the Last Supper. And when he started, 
he had this feud with another painter of his time that he really didn't like. They feuded back and forth and basically came to hate. So the first picture that he did at the Last Supper was Judas Iscariot. And he painted the face of that painter on that face. Well, he went on over the process of three years. And he did one disciple after another, after another, after another. But he could never come up with a proper face for Jesus. No matter how hard he tried, nothing looked right. Nothing appeared to be the way it was supposed to be. It just wouldn't come to it. And one day, it finally hit him. But the reason he couldn't see the face of Jesus was because of the hate he had for the other painter. And he went to the other painter and reconciled, asked for forgiveness, and after that, he saw the face of Jesus. And that's the face that's on the painting. Advent is about repentance, about us making things different, about us improving ourselves. You know, last week I went down to Tennessee, and, and everywhere you go now, there's road construction, right? Yeah. Okay. So, and, it, and we finally figured out two lanes are not enough. So now we've got to have three or four, right? And I go down to Tennessee uh, quite a bit because uh, I have this addiction to stop car racing and they do something <laughs> down there like that. But this one section, they've been working on it and working on it and working on it. And I kept thinking, for God's sakes, what have they done? And then it occurred to me that taking down the mountain was one thing. That was easy. Filling in the valleys is what takes time. Because if you just dump a bunch of dirt in there, pave over the top of it, within a couple of months you're going to have a hole. Because it's not right. The foundation's wrong. The foundation won't hold it. It will collapse. For us to really do Advent the right way, we have to look at our foundations. Da Vinci had to look at his foundation, and one of the things that kept him from being close to God was his hate. And he had to deal with that before he could build that closeness to Jesus. What is lacking in our foundation? What is the thing that keeps you from being as close to Jesus as you can? And we all have our own list. We all have our own little favorite sin that we hold on to. Almost like that identifies us. Okay? Somebody will you know, I was born with a bad temper. It's like it's a badge. You know, that doesn't mean you gotta be that way the rest of your life. But somehow we hang on to that. And as long as you hang on to that, the foundation never works. You never get close enough to the Lord. Other people's pride. And pride does all kinds of crazy things. Pride causes gossip, it causes anger, it causes division, it causes hatred. If you never get rid of it, you never get to the bottom. Da Vinci had the right, right idea. He had to take care of the foundation first. What in our foundation do we need to fix? What are the things we need to change? What are the things that we need to prop up and do better? Because the path to the Lord sometimes has obstacles. And most of the time, we're the obstacle. Let's pray.
I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, for him all things were made. Christ made him for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, he was the car of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. The Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. We now present our needs to our loving God. For the church, its leaders, and all of its members, for all who seek wisdom, understanding, counsel, and strength, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For bold prophets and humble listeners, for those whose lives witness to the gospel of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people and for children, for caring adults in whose faces they can see the face of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community, that we be centered in one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and live humbly as we await the Lord's coming, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Lucy Tierney, who was buried from our parish this past week, and for her family who grieve her loss, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bill, Mildred, Catherine, and Jason Abel, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we call upon you today to open our hearts. Help us truly to change so that we can truly see your face and give a good example to those around us. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Number 71, the king shall come. Number 71. <laughs>
Pray now that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design he formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. So with the angels, the archangels, thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, without end we your claim. Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather people to yourself, so the rising of the sun to its setting, the pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly ask you by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, his command we celebrate these mysteries. When the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks said a blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. As we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death 
you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you, so we may obtain an inheritance with the elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. That a sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, and Shelton, our Bishop, the other bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you summon before you, and your compassionate and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to their passage from this life, be kind and admit to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. We await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The and the power and the glory are yours now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy that you stood her under my roof, that all this say the word my supper is Number 57, Christ Circle Round Us. Number 57.
Let us pray. Replaced by the food of sacred nourishment, we humbly ask you, Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth, to hold firm to the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, we're doing blood pressures after church tonight, if you'd like heaven is taken. Thursday is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. It is a holy day. We'll have Mass at 8 a.m. at 6 p.m. Uh, volunteer, uh, tickets, volunteer dinner tickets are in the back of church. You see Helen or Nan. They'll take care of you. Uh, that's for those who have RSVP'd. If you didn't, and you should have seen me, and I'll take care of you. Uh, thanks to all those who brought in donations uh, so far for St. Vincent Paul and St. John Center. Uh, if you'd like to donate, we need to get everything in by next weekend so they can be delivered. Uh, again, the Christmas Remembrance. Some folks brought them in tonight. There's also included a form in the bulletin. Uh, if you'd like to do that, they need to be in by the 15th so that they'll be included in the Christmas vote. Uh, next week's parish council elections, uh, the ballot is on the website, and there's some sample ballots at the door if you want to see who's volunteered to run. We got a good group. Actually, had more than we could take, which is wonderful. Thank you all. Father X will love it. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And your mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Master said, let's go into peace and love of Christ. Number 46, a voice cries out. Number 46.